Oh, you're probably wondering why I'm at level 5. Well, in case 0, that is the level cap. As customary to Dead Rising games, you can get up to level 50, but for case 0, you can... the level cap is only at 5. So, for a while, you will have to deal with Chuck being very weak. He will only be able to run 4 miles an hour, and he'll only be able to throw an item up to 10 feet. And sometimes he doesn't kill zombies in one hit. And he doesn't have that many skills. And I just got hurt. Oh well, might as well demonstrate killing zombies. Uh, sure, let's autosave. It'll give me time to explain this. Now we are in a quarantine area. So we could probably search uh, maybe some vehicles for Zombrex. Oh. Oh yeah, another tip in this game. Do not drink too many alcoholic beverages. Otherwise Chuck will throw up. And, uh, and Chuck will be doing that for the next few times. Which isn't fun. Because you don't want to spontaneously throw up while you're killing zombies. That's... that's not fun. Now we're in the quarantine zone. So while we're in here... We got health in here we can top up on. And there should be guns around here. Ah, yes, the handgun! However, just like the first game, it is completely useless. However, your gun, your gun, I would like to have. You call that a scare? I saw the guy in there before he opened the door. So we found some Zombrex. Yay! Oh, and we also found out that the military is going to be here at 9 o'clock p.m. So we have until then to escape this place, otherwise they are going to take Katie away from Chuck. And you will not get a good ending. Yes, this game has different endings you can get, in case you're not familiar with the, the first Dead Rising. Which I should never assume. One rule about Let's Playing, never assume that all of your viewers have played a certain game, because sometimes that's not the case. 
I feel like I should be saying something, but I really don't have anything to say. Well, it is the beginning of the game. There's lots of cutscene action going on, and as a little rule of mine, I do not talk during cutscenes. So, yep. Let's push this utility cart. Haha. <laughs> Hold on, honey. Everything's gonna be just fine. Daddy's gotta go get a few things. Daddy, I don't feel so good. Can I have some more of that medicine now? I can't give it to you too early, honey. It's dangerous. You'll get too much. Can you fix the motorbike, Daddy? Daddy can fix anything. Like I said, Chuck is a motocross champion. So, yeah. <laughs> what better way to escape this town than on a motorbike? Simply awesome. Sure clearing the case fast, huh? Well, this is the part of the case where it's going to get very slow. I don't know why, but it seems like the game is a little bit darker than I want it to be. Hold on. Well, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, that'll do. Sorry about that. Ooh, yippee, it's brighter. So, let's go around the town and pick up some bike pieces, and I honestly forget where all of them are. Sorry. I still know where some of them are, I just need to... I just can't remember where all of them are. Although, one of them is an obvious... isn't an obvious place, another one is, uh... No, never mind, I think I can find them all. And that cutscene basically introduces the queen, which is the wasp that has been genetically engineered to turn living things into zombies. If you kill them, then zombies in pretty much a 20 or 30 foot radius will just die right there. So it's a good zombie clearing spot. It's a good zombie clearing item. Oh, hey, look, our first survivor. Let's go rescue him. Oh, and uh, the good thing about this game compared to the first game, they actually made the the dialogue boxes big enough to read over YouTube, so I don't have to read it aloud to you guys anymore, which is how I like it. And when your item in your inventory starts glowing red like that, it means it's about to die. It's about to break. It would help if more zombies wouldn't show up. Uh, 
Uh, I, nah, dude, I think I already have enough pawns. I mean, you only need 16 for every board, and I, I only have one board. Ha! That's an, that is the best reason to be able to hit a, a cop with a spiked bat. That is awesome. Oh, Chuck, can you run faster than four miles an hour? Yeah, yeah, you're a cheapskate, I know. Let's go in. 